How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Hardware. So we have looked at quite a few different memory modules from a T4s, like their extremes, and then also their night talks, which were pretty cool. But this time around, we are gonna take a look at their Vulcan Z memory, which is one of their more budget-friendly kits. Now currently we do have the 3600 megahertz to 8 gig kit with timings of 18, 22, 22, and 42, running at 1.35 volts. So their timings are the exact same as the extreme memory that we have tested before, which is unusual at a as lower frequencies. Usually it means a tighter timings, but we will get into actually how they perform a bit later and give you guys the reason of why. Now stay tuned till the end of the video to find out why Surfshark is one of the best value for money VPNs and how you can save 83% on a two-year plan plus three months absolutely free with a 30 day money back guarantee. Now, they're starting off with a pricing. It does range between $40 to $300, depending on the kit size and the speeds. But as for Euro South Africa, it ranges between 1,500 and 1,800 Rand. But if you wanted to get something a bit uh, more, then you can still pick up uh, the uh, Nighthawks, which is already a uh, B, with the same uh, speed and capacities at the exact same uh, price by using or we do take a coupon code on a big skis a website which is just a, a steal 400 rand off so check that out now the design is pretty basic but it still manages to look pretty uh, cool we currently have the uh, one with the red heatsink on and also the uh, black uh, PCB uh, which does look uh, quite nice but you also get uh, the uh, gray model with the gray heat spreader and then also a pretty cool looking ASUS a tougher version if you want to uh, build your ASUS system now there is no RGB or any type of LED on the memory itself again you can get the night hawks if you want to get uh, that so for someone that doesn't like uh, the uh, light show inside of the pc this is definitely a good option to uh, go for also as you guys can see they're quite a low uh, profile so if clearance is an issue for you with your uh, cooler then this is also again a nice option for that now moving on towards the benchmarks just like with our other ram benchmarks we are not going to overclock the memory because of just how complicated it is and nobody really overclocks their memory it's only the die hard cores and yeah we're not there yet so we didn't do that but one thing you of course need to do is go enable your XMP over a clock in your BIOS to get that 3600 megahertz at least. Now these do use Hynix C dies, so it's not the best necessary on the market, but it's also not a bad, and that is where the difference comes in between the extremes, the night talks, and these, whereas those ones are a B die. Also, I don't really think you buy this memory with the expectation of doing crazy over clocks and extreme timings. So they're going to be fine. Now, with our ADA64 test, it was clear that the Vulcan Z weren't going to break any records, falling right in between all of the other memory that we have tested. And with the bandwidth test, my theory was proven correct, with a bandwidth speed of almost 50,000. They were almost around 10% slower than the Spectrix D50, which is also running at 3,600 megahertz. Now, when it came to Cinebench, which is usually a very close call and most of the times it's just um, a margin of error really we once again realized that the c die memory used was not a very competitive coming a dead loss in every single test looking for a vpn but want to pay less and get even more features well surfshark is the vpn to get i've been using them for more than a year now and i'm definitely not disappointed surfshark has over 3200 servers with a limited speed drop unlike some others. Get all of the standard advantages of a VPN like no geo restrictions to access US and Netflix from different countries, no government restrictions on news and get a better prices on flights, games and software. Not only that, but Surfshark features industry leading encryption, multi hopping for a next level privacy, a kill switch to prevent any personal information from being leaked and one of my favorite features, unlimited devices. So you can use Surfshark 
start for the entire family on everybody's device without needing to pay for an extra account. So follow our link below to save 83% on a two year plan with an extra three months absolutely free. Try it out and if you don't like it, you do have a 30 day money back guarantee absolutely free. So the Vulcan Aziz doesn't look very flashy and the performance isn't crazy or anything, but they'll definitely be good enough for the average gamer and I doubt they'll really notice the performance a drop because a memory usually it doesn't play that big of a factor. Um, they have a very good frequency range, but uh, this is also where I would uh, draw the line for memory. Yes, you can uh, still uh, squeeze a little bit extra performance out with faster memory, but uh, nothing that's going to be really worth uh, the price point. The sweet spot for uh, most uh, CPUs, whether it's Intel or AMD, is uh, still around 3600 megahertz, but with a tighter uh, timings, that is where the difference comes into play. Something like uh, the 16 gig 3 1600 megahertz CL16 should be the base bank for your buck. You can actually pick up some for roughly the exact same price as these. So that is pretty much it for a look at the Vulcan Z from a team group. If, again, if you guys want to pick up these for yourself, I will leave links in the video description. Big thanks to Big C South Africa for sending these over for a view and also just all of the other stuff from T Force. So if you guys enjoyed this review, please like, share, comment, comment like always and i'll check all of you next time cheers guys